What's up guys, so boy Chris from Repping Here Life, of course, you know anytime I come to sit here, I have something to share with you guys, of course, Chris Benitez, I keep telling you guys, I need to hit at least 5k before the end of this year, please, subscribe to my channel and share, and please, your questions, they keep on coming, I see that a lot of you guys have been sending me questions on my Instagram DM, send me all the questions on your my on my Instagram DMs and of course on Facebook, I'll answer everywhere, okay, so today's topic is about, hmm, in fact, before I jump to this topic, if you haven't subscribed, please do it right now. Subscribe and then, of course, share it to your friends and family because in this channel, I share all the nitty gritty about Belgium, you know. So we are in Belgium, Belgium. So listen, hmm, I'll be right back. everyone welcome back to my channel of course and today's topic we're going to talk about some jobs to avoid here in Belgium now listen before you shoot me let me explain what I'm going to say listen I know we come here for greener pastures and of course we want to uh, experiment life and of course like live and have experiences in all walks of life I know that but listen money is good okay without money we cannot live you know we live because of money but listen your health is also very important you know I'm very passionate about today's episode because I see a lot of people making these mistakes all day. I'm gonna give you guys some of the jobs you should avoid. In fact, run away from those jobs. All these jobs I'm gonna talk about. Okay, listen, I am not saying it's not good. It is relative. Don't shoot me. It is relative. You can decide to do it, but listen, it has it. You can do it at your own cost. You understand? The first job you should really actually avoid in Belgium. Don't do it. Avoid it is working in the cold room. Cold room. Now somebody might ask, what is cold room? Now. You know, back in Africa, let me, I'll just because I'm from Africa. You know, back in Africa or in Asia, or whatever, we have this kind of where they sell kind of fresh foods like the fruits, the vegetables, and then the fresh meat. You know, in the freezer. And remember, this freezer is already cold, and you are in a cold country, and you are coming from a tropical. Let's say you you are coming from a tropical country, or you're from India, or maybe somewhere. You know, you, are, you come to Europe, and your first paycheck, you have to go and work in the ice, bro, 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 bro. bro you are really gonna get fucked up like literally because it's even before you enter into that fridge you have to like pile up stuff on your clothes you, know? so you have to like wear working gears and all that if you know you are not strong if you know you are not strong and your system is not good please don't take such a job i know you want the money we know but please your health is so very important avoid jobs like that because these jobs are like eight hours and some people even do this for night shifts whoa imagine it is winter and you do this job man you really want to kill by the time you go into the fridge, you're putting ice on meat and fruit and vegetables. Before you come out, your hands are all frozen. You can't even feel your hands anymore. And it's not very healthy for you as well. For me, I will always advise, if you know you can't do something, don't rush because this thing, yeah, the money might be calling. It's very, look, it's very inviting. They pay you, in, you know, it's very inviting. But please, think about your health. That is the first one. The second one is chemicals. Please avoid chemicals companies especially if you know yeah they might give you training and all that but please be very careful when these things enter into your eyes your hands i know somebody will say oh but crispin they'll give you gloves and all that but yes but please it is not also very good for you not very good for you at all chemicals uh stuff to do with chemicals and explosive and all those things you, just because of money you yourself you know that where you are going it's not what you worry about do, but because of the money there's risk i know sometimes some risks will take you they won't bring you back so please think about your health chemicals are very very dangerous for your health and you know sometimes you might think you have a face mask and all that but sometimes you can heal something to you and you start having kind of problems with your truth and swallowing and all that so please avoid chemicals or stuff unless you are a licensed chemical not those you know those kind of small 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 trades they give you there because of the the money that you're doing it please no be have a passion for it and know this is what you want to do don't just do for the money because it might harm you number three overnight shifts please do your eight hours do your 12 hours and then go home and sleep my dear people do not overwork yourself the body needs to rest don't take morning shifts and evening shift don't do too much overworking doesn't make you rich it's your head use the head please the fourth one is companies that use 
robot studio a lot of like robots you know they have like you put this one here this one is there this one then you you just have to run the same pace with the robots please avoid these jobs you see i say this and i laugh because i i know friends who have been through this before avoid jobs like that you are not a robot you're a human being you cannot act like a robotic robotic might take two seconds to do something you might take five ten seconds to do it avoid things that you just have to be like just like be acting like a robot you know bring this bring that put this on it no man no avoid it. you are going to break a spine you are you are going to ruin a muscle you are going to tear something a tissue in your skin and then at the end of the day you go paralyzed because these jobs that's what they do to a lot of people so please avoid places that have kind of you really have to work in a pace no of course most companies want you to work in efficiency we know that but please when you see that it is like it is like delusional like it is over the board please run away from places like that no amount of money in the world can cure that kind of problems when you start having them so please avoid those robotic companies you need a sane mind to do your job not to run like a robotic remember it's a machine it's not a human being you are the human being so they cannot compare you to that machine the last one is the dishwashing i mean somebody might say oh but crispin dishwashing is not a big difficult job yes i know but listen sometimes if the machine is doing everything you have no problem but whereby you have to do you know sometimes when you make like something like mashed potatoes and you know those ones those starch they are so difficult to wash and all that especially when they have those heavy 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 pan you have to raise them with your hands and all that please when something is heavy for you in the company and you know you cannot lift it call a colleague call the whoever the team leader or whatever they that hey listen this is very heavy for me i can't lift it they can help this is europe they don't really i mean they want you to work but also they have they really care about you sometimes please so please tell them that hey i, I cannot lift it don't lift something and break your back when you go to the house yes there's insurance but insurance might help you but trust me you lose that back you you break that waist that way you need to do your job you know <laughs> you're gonna break that way so please there are some jobs you really have to avoid the last, last one i want to have talked to you about now it's also really relative you can actually choose not to do it it's a warehouse job you can do a warehouse job whereby they do like other picking and all that like other picking use the scanner the machine to pick everything up but when it's like lifting heavy 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 stuff please avoid it i beg you now a lot of people fall into this because the money is very good you know we have like a nice shift like go like nine to five or maybe from two to ten or from six a.m to two p.m it is okay but please avoid the job when you know the job is very heavy for you don't do it don't do it and some of them they, they like to abuse people a lot so be very careful with that mm -hmm. if something is heavy like i say tell them i cannot lift it can i have a colleague to help me if you want to act like you're a macho guy you want a job you want a contract and all that so you want to kill yourself trust me if you die they're gonna bring another person to that job trust me no company keeps you forever if you die today they will replace you in the next two seconds so think about your health think about your life don't i'm not saying of course i'm of course i'm saying it no you can be picky about jobs but of course pick jobs that you think you have a passion for i know these days people actually work because of the money because you really like what they're doing i know i understand but please choose wisely this is europe don't just come here and then just sit around and just do just any jobs if you do that you are not going to enjoy your life at the end of the day because you overwork the body and the body needs to relax so you start having that's so you see you start having headaches migraines back pains uh what is called ammonia pain pain knees and all that because of these things so you take a lot of painkillers and it's not good for you think about your health money is good money is good but health first money second i love if you have any questions about jobs of course uh you can always leave me uh, leave me a questions about these ones and of course i'm going to answer you guys i love you guys so much and i don't want you to you know make some mistakes me and some of my friends this. that's why i always come here to give you guys i tips about belgium so please there are some jobs you really have to avoid unless you are licensed for that job listen unless you are skilled in the school for that job no problem because without one you know what to do and all that and also i i wanted to add something okay now you see all these jobs that i mentioned all they are good jobs but it is not something you do it for the long term that's what i'm trying to say you can do it for the short term no problem maybe you're a student in belgium and you want some money for your you know for your extra income for your for your daily upkeep in such situation you really have a good career you really have a good something you want to do just for the money which is good but we don't do this job for a long time i know people who have gone through this for pension which is okay that's their choice but i'm trying to help the new ones coming into the country or in europe in general i'm not just talking about belgium though. i'm talking about the whole of europe because it, most of the jobs they are the same in europe they are almost the same in every country in europe so please if you come to belgium don't just stick to this kind of men maybe you didn't have any education wherever you came from we know but when you come in this country they help people to actually you know put you on a pedestal you understand so when you come here try to go into a training i'm not saying school 
it could be a training a vocational training for them to help it give you like a license in any career you want to go any vocational courses it could be hairdressing it could be mason it could be a uh, carpentry it could be uh what's it called whatever you want to welding you know any engineering whatever you are good at look into it and go to school and skill yourself in these kind of places don't just take yourself into this kind of manual jobs manual jobs is good they're quick money but you don't have a career at the end of the day so please don't just come and sit and be like oh i'm seeing money i'm seeing euro so i'm happy no go back to school take a skill learn a skill here and of course most of the jobs or the skill have to die in the local language which we know but of course the more you practice you can speak very good dutch or whatever wherever you are germany or whatever italian or spanish wherever you are learn the language as you go and of course take a course you know something to improve your life this is just a simple two cents i wanted to share with you guys crispy latest because i love you guys of course i mean that we, we have come to the end of my episode of course if you have any questions on this topic please leave your questions under my comment section i'm going to re reply to all your questions i love you guys and stay safe remember health first money second bye all